Monaco headed to Brittany looking to secure a first win in three league meetings with Gangon to move further clear of trouble and keep their hosts in it. Last weekend's 1-0 defeat at home to another struggling side, Kohn, was their first defeat since the return of Leonardo Jardim after a run of four wins and three draws had helped the Principality pull away from the danger zone. Gangon lost in the Coupe de la Ligue final to Strasbourg and a midweek reverse by Montpellier. But the French tractor boys got in front 23 minutes into the context. Felix Eboa Eboa with cat-like reflexes to turn his header past Daniel Subasic. Eight points separated the sides before kickoff, and Monaco certainly didn't want to see that cut into for the Bayaturi finding Alexander Golovan. Brilliant initial save, but even better from the foot of Carlos Vinicius. Mark Aurel Cayar, a former Monaco Academy player, keeping his former side out. And even when he was beaten, Camille Click failing to hit the target. And in the torrential Breton downpour, Ronnie Lopez decided to try his luck. Although showing Monaco a bit desperate before the break. Says Fabregas amongst those in the Stade Rue de Rue, absolutely soaked. Beaten a week ago in the Coupe de la Ligue final by Strasbourg and tasting defeat at Montpellier midweek. Gangon showing remarkable commitment to the ultimate goal of Ligue 1 Conferama survival. In a match of returning coaches, Josan Govenek leading a potential miracle recovery for a club from a Breton village of just 7,000 people. And it was the crossbar in the Rue de Rue that kept the scoreline for Monaco blank. Adrian Silva on a loan swap with Eunice Tillemans going to Leicester, clipping the bar. French-born Portuguese international showing his frustration at being denied an absolute stunner. Monaco struggling in the rain and with captain and top scorer Radamel Falcao absent through injury. They turn to Steven Jovetic off the bench for only his seventh appearance of an injury-ravaged season. But it was their expensive Russian arrival who tried his luck next. But Golovan initially taking the ball back off the Jeremy Sorbonne. The easy save for Kayat. Monaco unrelenting. Jelson Martins digging out across for Vinicius. But he too, like Glick in the first half, failing to hit the target with a header. Just when it all seemed lost in the 92nd minute, a proper scrum ash in the area. Jovetic, though, was hovering. And when the ball fell to him, he made no mistake. An emotional Jovetic paying tribute to a passing of a loved one. And his 10th Ligue 1 Conferama goal, and maybe his most important. Gangon just couldn't clear their lines. And the Montenegrin on hand to salvage a point. Well, a huge three-point snatch from brave Gangon, who brutally fall to the bottom of the table. Still eight points from safety as Monaco breathe a sigh of relief.